Kyle Rittenhouse is standing trial for shooting three individuals during Black Lives Matter protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Two of those individuals died as a result of him opening fire, one was injured. He was also in possession of an illegal weapon considering the fact that he was 17 years old at the time. Now, as he stands trial, we're getting word regarding the judge's behavior and his ground rules. The trial is set to begin next week, but the judge has set ground rules. This is Circuit Judge Bruce Schroeder, who says that the individuals who were shot and killed cannot be referred to as victims. However, they can be referred to as looters, rioters, and arsonists. In fact, Judge Schroeder said to the defense attorney, Demonize them if you want to, if you think it will win points with the jury. That is a direct quote from the judge. He believes that the word victims, even though the individuals who are now dead died as a result of someone opening fire and killing them, calling them victims is Pre, pre, uh, Prejudicial. Yes, exactly. And not, but it's not just uh, uh, that. It's he called it literally. It's a lo- calling them a victim is a loaded term. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. So calling the victims who are dead and indisputably victims, victims, the actual term is loaded. But a, calling them rioters when you haven't even presented any evidence that they were rioters. Is not loaded, calling them arsonists, and there's not a shred of evidence that they started any fires, is not loaded. Calling them looters when you don't even have any evidence of that is not lo- loaded. Nah, nah, look, sh- sh- look. Demonize I, them if you want, if you think it will win points with the jury, is I, what the judge said to the defense attorney here. So who's on trial? Is it the 17 year old who crossed state lines with an illegal gun and then proceeded to shoot three people killing two of them? Or are the two victims who have who have died on trial? The other individual who was shot and suffered serious injuries, that person's on trial? Who's on trial here? I wanna know. Yeah, so if I was the parents of the victims, the victims who are dead because Kyle Rittenhouse murdered them, and this judge says you're not allowed to call your dead kids victims. We have to, but you are allowed to call them all sorts of names. And they're not here to defend themselves because they're already dead, but they're not victims. But so smear them, smear them all you want, but don't ever have sympathy for them. So I don't know Schroeder. Of course, I don't know him in real life. He's a circuit judge, but this is so preposterous, so biased. That it would be shocking if it wasn't a deeply racist right winger. Oh, Black Lives Matter protests. I mean, aren't they all arsonists and rioters and looters? No matter who, what the race of the people who were killed were. I mean, he went to go shoot black people. They're not victims. Victims? No, 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 no. And if you murder them, you know what happens? The right wing gives you millions of dollars. That's literal. Kyle Rittenhouse yep. murdered these people. And the right wing started like a GoFundMe page or whatever and raised millions for him. They're like, oh, you went to go kill black people. And then at that Black Lives Matter protest, you murdered a couple of people. Bravo, way to go murderer. Wait, that's see, guys, what are we gonna do with the right wing? On the one hand, I wanna reach out to them. I did earlier in the show, hey, we hate corruption, you hate corruption. Let's work together against corrupt politicians, right? On the other hand, when you have some portion of them, not all of them, but some portion of them that say, "Oh, that guy went to go kill black people and then he actually did kill a couple of protesters. I love that guy, I love that guy, I wanna give him my hard earned money. So if he gets out of jail, maybe he can murder more people. On behalf of the right wing. Listen, how am I supposed to get along with that guy? How am I supposed to get along with that guy? The right wing is gonna do what the right wing does, right? But we're supposed to have a fair justice system, which of course is a laughable thing to say because it has not been fair. So if this judge said, hey, don't call them victims, you know, just stay away from using that word, I look, I disagree with it. But like the gratuitous you can refer, you can demonize them. You can refer to them as rioters, looters, arsonists. How is that a fair trial? How is it not abundantly clear that there's a bias here? Listen, I want, 
Kyle Rittenhouse to stand fair trial. Like I, I'm not, I don't want him to be found guilty before there's evidence presented. I don't want, look, there's the court of public opinion. And the court of public opinion is one thing, but I want a fair trial. I don't want him to be found guilty when he's innocent. I don't want him to be found innocent when he's guilty. But already from the jump, it's abundantly clear that this is not a fair trial. When the judge is openly, brazenly, transparently telling the defense attorney that he's free to demonize the individuals who aren't even here anymore because they were killed during that shooting. And you know what else it does? Look, I get it. The, the judge probably thinks if he was here, he would probably tell you, no, no, I'm just telling the defense. I, you know, it's a theoretically liberal position to tell the defense to use everything you can to get your client off. And so if you, I don't, I'm not sure that it'll work with the jury. It might backfire with the jury, but if you want, demonize them and see how it turns out. But that notwithstanding, guys, if we say to murderers like Kyle Rittenhouse, hey, remember, if you shoot to kill, they won't be there to defend themselves. And then a judge will let you call them rioters and looters and arsonists, and they won't be able to defend themselves. And the judge will tell everybody they're not victims. They're just rioters. They had, I mean, if you call them rioters and you don't call them victims, why don't you just get, let them out of jail right now? Why don't you just tell the jury, remember, he killed a bunch of bad guys and they had it coming. And so this guy's a goddamn champion, right? So I don't know what his motivations are, but this ruling is monstrous. It's monstrous. And guys, no progressive wants injustice. We don't want injustice toward the right wing either. We're fighting for justice. So so if you're on that jury and it turns out, hey, one of the guys pointed a uh, that Kyle Rittenhouse had not done anything, didn't start anything, and one of the guys in the in the crowd pointed a gun at his head, and then he turned around and actually defended himself. Then you should let him go. Then he's not guilty. That is actually self-defense, if that's what the evidence shows. So far, we have public evidence. It is not what it shows. It is not at all what it shows. But if you have magic evidence that we haven't seen, it's possible. Show it to the jury. Then we would be for just. I don't want to put away somebody who's innocent. Why the hell would I want to do that? Okay. There are multiple videos from that night. The first first video was Kyle Rittenhouse literally chasing a protester into a parking lot. Then you see video of protesters trying to take his gun away because obviously we're dealing with a 17 year old from out of state who shows up to Kenosha, Wisconsin to cause trouble. To looking to kill people. Because that's what the right wingers do. We did the story yesterday of the guy in Texas. Somebody pulls up next to his house, he goes and shoots him in the head. He's like, oh, well, there's a guy by my house. I can't wait to shoot people. And they took weeks to arrest the guy. Well, I don't know. The guy who was killed happened to be randomly be a young Muslim kid. He probably deserved it. He was probably a rioter or a looter. If you're a white right winger, you're God in this country. You're above the law. You kill anyone you like. God damn it, I'm tired of it. My God, every time I think about the parents of those kids, it makes me sick to see what this judge did, what those unbelievable monsters in the right wing do, celebrating the deaths of those poor kids. And and by the way, just last thing, think about it from this perspective. Kyle Rittenhouse goes in with a weapon into the protest. He points the, he chases people with it. He points the weapon at someone. They then try to wrestle the weapon away because they have a loaded gun pointed at them, a loaded weapon at them, right? But for right wingers, that's not stand your ground. That's not self defense. But when Rittenhouse then shoots them dead, they say that's self defense. No, no. Look, if he gets away with it, and now with this judge, there's almost. I mean, it's it's like this is the most rigged trial I've ever seen in my life. It's almost inconceivable he'll get convicted. And so, if you thought if they somebody told you you don't know anything about the case, and somebody told you, oh, the people who were killed were monsters who attacked this poor kid, and he, they're not at all victims. They're rioters and arsonists and looters and terrible people. And this kid had to defend himself. Well, you would logically think, oh, I guess he was self-defense. I mean, the judge is handing it to him on a silver platter, handing it to him. Just get get out of jail free card. Well, okay, and then soon the right wing are going to logically think we could just kill them all. There's never any penalty. We just, and in fact, we have a story later in the show where one of the people listening to Charlie Kirk's speech asked him, why don't we just start killing him? In America now, if you're a white right winger, it is grotesque. It's become a, a question that 
where you don't, they're like, what's the downside? I might get millions. George Zimmerman's a hero, Kyle Rittenhouse is a hero, no, no one ever gets punished. I, I don't, minorities, they say, oh, black people are angry in this country. They're not nearly angry enough. Not nearly angry enough. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.